Hello Pilots and Ground Crew, welcome back to my channel again. Well this is just a quick update about uh, my video yesterday about the Gepard 5 inch frame Mark 3. Right, <clears throat> first thing I'm going to say, excuse me, <clears throat> first thing I'm going to say is after you've watched the video please look below in the description, right, because I made it I put sort of like a link to the the yeah the frame, but I've also give you the information, right? So you'll understand more about this video. Okay then, right? Uh, I'm not picking on anybody, first of all, and uh, I do not mind that I got the comment, but which is probably my fault for not explaining it properly. But uh, I received a comment, right, in my video yesterday. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, mate. Off the top of my head, I can't remember your name. <laughs> Right, I let it hit in. I'll put, I'll put your name there. I let it hit in. Right, because you haven't done that wrong. You haven't done nothing wrong. No. Uh, it basically says, oh, George, you uh, the reason the reason why your arms on on this frame, you see, the arms are narrower on this side on the front, but on the back they go out, stretched out, and he'd he'd put you you've got your front arms on the wrong way around. Well. Uh, if you take a look at this manual picture, first of all, the picture of the manual. Right, I'll put up now. Right, well, as you can see there, I've actually got the arms on in the correct way. Right, exactly the way they're meant to go. Now, what I didn't mention in the video yesterday, right, and this is where it's my fault. This particular frame comes in three versions. It comes in the Mark III, well, it's all Mark III, but it comes in the H6 version, right, which is like a, a stretch H version on the arms. Right, you already know where I'm going with this, don't you? Right, it comes in the H5 version, which is the true X, which is probably what the guy was thinking about when he looked at my arms, thought I'd got them on the wrong way around. Right, and it comes in what I bought, the HB 5.6 version. Now that's the one that I've got where the arms are narrower at the front and wider at the back. And uh, like I said, if you look in the description, there's the information straight from the GEPRC website telling you why it's done that way. I thought it'd be easier that way, but it's basically for stability, wind drag, speed, or easier on banking and stuff like that. All right, but I wanted to clarify this because it's my fault for not mentioning the three different versions. That's why the book was easily, easily got mistaken. Right, by thinking I got the arms on the wrong way around. Right, if I'd have watched the video, right, and I had no uh, idea that there was three versions, I might have thought the same thing. Right, so I'm not picking on you, mate. Definitely not picking on you. Right, uh, I've made mistakes in videos before, and people have corrected me. Right, and which is great. I've even made videos, and I've realised after all the editing, I shouldn't have said that, or I've got that wrong or something. So I've left myself a comment saying, "Sorry, I keep mentioning this or that, but it's actually the the other way or something like that." So I'm not peed off angry or out like that I appreciate anybody leaving me comments right even especially if I've made a mistake please tell me but yeah but I wanted to clarify this because like I said it comes in the true X right a stretched H and this type which is now we're at the front I'll show you again now we're at the front and wider at the back so that uh, when you're banking, you get less prop wash and stuff like that. Like I said, please look in the description. Right, I've left all the information there, and even a link to Gepassi's website. And j just if not, go to Gepassi's website. Type in Mark Three Frame. Right, and they'll give you the list of them, and you can look yourself. You can look at all three and stuff like that. But I got this one from Banggood.com. Right, and I believe this is the well. Actually, they do sell two styles because they also make uh, Gepassi and an all-in-one body. Right, but I wanted one with uh, removable arms because even though these arms are super strong, right, I have a nasty habit. It's strange it is. I seem to enjoy crashing. Don't know why. I just seem to enjoy it. <laughs> 
So I thought I'll get one where I can replace the arms if I bust one rather than getting the full body frame again. Okay then, uh, pilots and ground crew, I just wanted to clarify this, right, because uh, if somebody else watches uh, yesterday's video, they're liable to think the same thing. Oh, his arms are on the wrong way, they're pointing the wrong way, or this or that, that's why they're narrow, so I thought, yeah, I'll clarify this. But you've seen, you've seen the picture of the manual, so I've got it right, so sod off. No, I'm only joking, I'm only joking. No, I don't, I don't mind criticism. <laughs> Right, at all but no so it's my fault for not clarifying it in uh, yesterday's uh, video when I showed you the actual frame didn't tell you there was three versions okay right now it's definitely all uh, sorted out and clarified so I'll leave it there okay then uh, pilots and ground crew thanks for watching I really hope this helps and once again mate right I can't remember your bloody name all right but once again I apologize if you think I'm picking on you, because I'm not, I'm just clarifying something that I made the mistake, right, by not explaining it yesterday. Okay then, uh, thanks for watching, I've waffled on enough, and cheers!